So today I've spent some time with the Hypershell X Ultra Exoskeleton. We took a hike up into the hills of Las Vegas, uh, into Red Rock Canyon, and it's designed to help those of us who want to be able to experience hiking and experience fitness who maybe aren't quite there yet. I'm kind of on this weight loss fitness thing, and I've been working really hard to be able to keep up with a lot of my friends who go hiking. The exoskeleton essentially has motors in the hips that allow you to be a little bit less exhausted as you move through. It's not replacing your movement, it's just assisting your legs as you move across difficult terrain or the longer distances. I've really enjoyed it over the last sort of month, just walking the dog and how it allows me to just push forward uh, in a way that my hips sometimes don't allow. With this hike, I found this is the first time I've really had a big elevation change. The exoskeleton itself has a couple of modes. One of them is an eco mode, which is really great for walking. And then the beast mode, which is sort of great for hiking in this, this high elevation change. I really noticed it while I was walking with these hikers who were also trying it out who didn't seem as wowed by what it was doing for them. But as someone who sometimes struggles to keep up with people, this allowed me to have a conversation while on the hike, something that I wouldn't normally be able to do, and that allowed me to really enjoy the scenery in a way that I wouldn't be able to do. I wasn't pouring with sweat, I wasn't gasping for air. It felt like a much more natural pace. Would I buy one myself? Would I have it if it was my own money? The Ultra X is a very expensive model. It's their flagship. It's designed for long distance walking. They do have one which is the Hypershell Go and it has a half the maximum range. I think the seven to $800 model would be the way to go. Something I'm gonna be thinking about in the future is a resistance mode. It's experimental at the moment, but what it does is it adds a little bit of resistance to your movement. So as you walk, it sort of pushes back and the idea is it will help you build stamina. And I think once I'm in a position where I'm comfortable walking a good distance, I might add that resistance to it as well. So it's given me a lot of thought about how I can incorporate it into this, this weight loss uh, journey that I'm on and uh, how I can really enjoy myself with my friends and not have to think about being exhausted the whole time. I hope you find this information helpful. Uh, you should definitely check out Hypershell and uh, like and subscribe for more CES content from CNET.